Hey, Magic fans, welcome back. We're to our last box. We had a great last box. Um, it still didn't score as high as I wanted it to, but to be honest, it did score pretty high just considering that there's uh, not a lot of big dollar high cards. Um, I mean, they're, they are, but they're hard to get, right? So, and, and if you think, you know, oh, um, it should be easier to pull these, X, Y, Z. No, it's not. Um, as you know, I have the whole case right here. I opened it all from one box. It came sealed from my guy. Um, I trust him. I know he didn't scam me. Um, not to mention, you know, I watched him pull it from a regular case. Um, or a mini case that has four of those boxes in it. You know what I'm talking about. So... Those high dollar cards are really hard to get. They seem to be harder to get than the serialized cards, which is kind of weird. But even though they're that hard to get, I think they should cost more. Um, they can be reprinted more often because they're not serialized. So there is that as well. So as always, guys, this is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. <sighs> it's the last box of collector boosters. It's been fun, and I... As much as I want to do this, it's going to be sad when it's over. So, take one last run with me as we try to get some sweet cards. Alright guys, here we go. Alright, Geth. Seagram Coast. Okay, another Geth. That's not, that's pretty good rare, I guess. Kanker Bloom, not bad. Green Sun, Black Sun, all the suns. Alright, not a terrible pack, not the greatest. Um, wasn't bad though. So, alright, let's go. All right. Let's get a little better. Start pumping out those mythics. This is another big Elish Norn, let's go. Alright, we got a Blade. Rat King. Thrumming Bird. Send you, hey, there's a mythic. Sun's Vanguard. I think it's about four or five bucks. Not too shabby. Put that right there. Uh, Blue Sun's Twilight. There's a foil Kato again. Very nice. All right. Not the best, not the worst. All right, let's go. Come on, big money. Ooh, full art foil. That's not too shabby, honestly. It's four or five bucks, I believe. Oh, yeah. Phyrexian Luca. That's our foil. Or no, it's a uh, regular, but it's our second mythic. First one from the actual pack. So that was there. That was there. So old slick next. Uh, Evolve Spawn Derm. Not bad. It's a rare. We'll take it. All right, Kim's Banner, Soul Jailer. Ooh, a Blue Dominus Foil Mythic. Very nice. Anyway. Oops, 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 falling down, falling down. Almost fell. If I fall, I probably won't be able to get back up. Anyway. Alright, here we go. Come on. Alright. Facade. Kato. Eh. Quicksilver. Wall breaker. Seed core. Hey, a defector might. That's worth about 10 bucks. Helps out. Come on, Elish Norn, where you at? Where you at, big mama? Mother. Alright. Defector Might Foil. Very nice. That's a good hit. Eh, not so much. Mm -hmm. Rot Priest. Norn's Decree. Mirex. Mm. 
All right, here we go. And Graz. Oh, there we go. The red Dominus, mythic number four. Ah. Sorry about the lighting. I've noticed the last couple of videos, lighting ain't been too great. The foils are so shiny. I tried turning the light on. It was pretty much just blinding me and probably you and everybody else in God's Green Earth. Ooh, foil T-Rex. Two mythic pack. Very nice. That's five mythics. All right. Last half of the box, and the fun ride will be over. Come on, something big and juicy. Let's go. Black Sun Twilight, Evolve Spiderderm. Oh, JC Boy, Mythic Oil Slick. Very nice for Mythic number six. My Overseer Blade. Ah, oh, minor misstep. Very nice. All right. Come on, get one of those sweet Elish Norn alternate art oil slick foils. It's worth a couple hundred. All right. Cliffs, that's a great foil. Wow. Now that's the kind of stuff you want to see get repeated. Those are good cards. Ugh. Scourge. Serum. Plus, uh, eh. I mean... It probably wasn't worth the money the pack would cost, but like a foil and a non-foil, like those are just sweet. Like how could you not be happy about that? Come on, let's go. Oh yeah. Foil green hunger. Very nice. Mythic number seven. All right. Got a wanderer. Ah. ah, white sun and racking. Three more packs. Come on, let's go, Mythics. Big juicy Ellis Nord. Give me one alternate art card. That's oil slick. Come on. And we got a cough. Rid of favor. Ooh, an oil slick Kato. That's a very nice rare. Or resistance, master core. All right, not terrible. Okay, two packs left. Come on, baby. Mm, come on. Daddy needs a mother's love. And how to open this pack. There we go. Come on, baby. Uh, Meditech. Copperline Gorge. Oh, I think I see something good back there. Oh, it's an oil slick. And it's, oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. Oh, it's a rare. Damn it. I mean, still, it's a third oil slick rare. And that might be a good one because that's a popular card that's in the deck. There's a sphere. Oh, there we go. The white Dominus foil. Nice. Mythic number eight. Four, six, eight. Yep, mythic number eight. Not too shabby. All right, we got one pack left to go for the gusto. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And now is your chance. It'll keep you up to date on all these box opening videos that I do and all the news and other reports, investing, and you name it. That happens on the channel. All right, here we go. One last time. I see something big. All right, come on. Wellspring. Ah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ah, dang it. Well, man, the cough. Wah, wah. Wow, those, uh, High dollar oil slick cards apparently are really hard to get because that was six boxes. Um, so maybe they should be more than $200 because you're normally guaranteed to at least get one um, serialized card in Brothers War. So 
either A, these oil slick cars that are alternates are priced way too low, or B, Brothers War boxes are way too cheap. Um, I'll let you try to figure that math out. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Until next time, be kind and hope to see you across from the game table. Later, player.